It's a bedding. Oh. Uh, they sell bedding. Unusual combination. I guess you eat your hamburger and you get tired of walking <laughs> <laughs> uh, Any other questions? Anyone else like to speak in favor of this? Good afternoon, board. My name is Chuck Smith, 1321 West Hill Avenue. I'd just like to add, uh, first of all, I'd like to say thanks to staff. Uh, we've spent a lot of time with him because this is a challenging development here. Uh, the property, as we see it, is standalone. And when you start looking at different variables of adjacent properties, are they standalone? Are they contiguous? Is it a multi complex? But we started this process back in January. Five guys wanted to come on board that wanted to come on board because of going through the process, going through our timeline of, of, of our notice of intent we signed in June with the two companies with five guys and select comfort, going through our first step meeting on June 26th, going through our pre-app meeting on July 3rd. Like I mentioned, we do have letters of intent signed right now with both of these companies with one contingent thing. This is the hardship. No signage, no deal. So I applaud staff because we have met with Tracy. I met with her this morning. She sent me the package at 945. To be honest, I freaked out. Been out there measuring with a ruler on Norman Drive. Came down and she took time met with me. And two chunks credit. Nice and freaked out first. <laughs> <laughs> I hide it well. I had no windows in my office though. But you know, to say that, and there were some comments, you know, from three staff that Condition requiring request of relief can be found on several multi-tenant properties. So we're not asking for something, as you all very well know, that is not uncommon. Uh, another comment staff is no to granting this variance for not repair or injure other properties. So we're not be facing any values and actually the option to the monument sign. We don't want to, there's mature landscaping out there. You know, we want to add a 50 square foot panel to that existing side. Uh, the hardship is the deal will go to south. I know that's my problem and my developer's problem, but uh, I think my design team has done their research and integrating with the city of Mount Austin to make this a doable project that would enhance not just the tax base, but you know, provide quality of life if you want to eat hamburgers. I, I have another question. Y'all are currently owning what's outlined in yellow and what's outlined in blue. Yes, ma'am. Would you imagine that someday ever you would sell what's outlined in blue to someone else? Just speaking on behalf of my developer, I'd say no. Well, the reason that I ask is that if the what's outlined in blue by the right of its own self can have a sign. And so if it says what's outlined in blue, if it's ever sold, it doesn't get to then have a sign of its own. It, it signs its sign. Um, rights away to the bigger piece of property to say um, if the blue piece of property were ever sold and made into something else, it, its sign rights go with the bigger piece of property because it's got its signs up there. Do you know what I've got to follow me? Yeah. So if Paul and I buy that, we can't then put up a new sign because we got the piece of property. We have to go with whatever sign promise that you make between that piece of property and the bigger piece of property and its size. I, I think that's covered real well in LBR because the 300 foot rule, right now between the signs, there's 389 feet between there. So if it's sold, yeah, you can put a sign, but then the staff will come back and say, well, you can't have a pylon sign. And we had this discussion with Matt, that's why we talked about a monument, a small, you know, type, type sign, and really our client didn't like it. They want to be on that pylon sign. You know, they want to be more visible to the entrance of the contiguous complex. It's easier for a driver to see it when it's up by much, much easier. Like much easier. Well and I've had some pictures they might have been I've been there in fact, you know, there's there's mature trees out there, you know, you're not gonna see it. So you like option one? Yes sir. At entrance at entrance two, right? Correct, yes sir. This is the one you like? Correct, yes sir. That's that's the one that our Ten, ten <laughs> That's all I have. Any other questions? Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you. I'm assuming there's no one here in opposition. Um, any questions? 
questions about yourself? Uh, whatever um, motion we make, are we supposed to take into account which one of these um, sign locations that sh should be a part of the motion? Yeah, yes. I think that we, we need which, to which, which one did you say? Option one and entrance two. That's the one that's the most it's this feasible. One that's the one that everybody can see. Our not the little one, not the not the, not the little two. monument sign. You can go too fast on that road. Yeah. They won't be able to see you. Can't see it. Well, you can see a five guys from a long way away though. You know it's there. You smell it. You smell it. Sorry. Um, I make a motion. Yes. I make a motion to take into account Contractor like him. 
We need a contractor. Everybody's got a little niche to fill. We need a contractor. Carmel we can find one. We stand the turn. Carmel is good. Do y'all want your documentation back? Yeah. 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 Yeah.